Hey guys, Rich here from NeoWin. Today we're taking our first look at Windows 10X for single screens. If you're unfamiliar with Windows 10X, it's Microsoft's new modern operating system. It was first codenamed Windows Lighter. That was what it came out as in rumors and leaks. And then uh, they announced it uh, alongside the Surface Neo for dual screen devices. And if you want to check out Windows 10X for dual screen devices, you still can. Um, you just need Hyper-V which means you need Windows 10 Pro and you can go in the Microsoft Store and download the Microsoft emulator. And then it's just going to give you images you could download. They were publicly available about well, nearly a year ago now. But then Microsoft announced that it was uh, indefinitely delaying Windows 10X for dual screens. Then, oh, here's the new boot animation for Windows 10X. So, but they're indefinitely delaying it along with the Surface Neo and instead they are going um, to meet customers where they're at is what Windows Chief Panos Panay said. And um, by meeting people where they're at, they meant that you're still going to have to buy a brand new PC in order to use the new operating system. So this is going pretty smoothly so far. It's actually running on a PC with a Core i9-10900K and 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, but I gave it 8 threads and, and 8 gigs of RAM, and it's doing pretty well. Um, so, like I said, Windows 10X. I am the actually the only... Whoop, Oh, and new pins are actually going to have to be six digits uh, long or more. That's something that's new to Windows 10X. You can see the out-of-box experience is mostly... See, something went wrong. For some reason, I can't set up a pin. Um, the questions are mostly the same. But, um, like, even, even adding a separate uh, keyboard, the same. But, obviously, all the animations are different here. Okay, and then you have little things like the pin requirements. So here, that that just brought us right to the home screen. Now, um, I'm actually the only person outside of Microsoft, apparently, and OEMs that have used Windows Screen on actual hardware, uh, Windows 10X on actual hardware. Um, that was at CES last year. I actually got my hands on Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Fold using the new operating system. Um, but then they, they put out the emulators later on for the dual screen device. Now, this is a leak. It's a near RTM build. But we can see not a whole lot has changed. If you played with those dual screen emulators, you're not missing much here. It's, it's, just, it's pretty much the same thing, but for single screens. We do have the Edge browser, Chromium Edge, obviously. And takes a little bit to load, but remember, like I said, it isn't a VM, so we could cut a little bit of slack here. Um, one thing that you'll notice, that by the way, this is, this is supposed to be a Chrome OS competitor. It's supposed to be a modern take on Windows. It's supposed to be a modern operating system, so it's competing with the Chrome OS's and the Androids and the iOS's of the world, where obviously Windows 10 is bogged down by legacy junk. So that's th the big thing that's happening here. But you notice there's no windowed apps. This is full screen only, or split screen actually. You can still, you can still go split screen, but you can't, you can't just do windowed. And remember, Chrome OS does have a windowed mode, so this does seem a little bit more limited in certain ways. Um, we could pull up settings here because there is no control panel. Um, all that legacy stuff is gone. There's no command line. Um, yeah, just pretty much all that stuff. So you have settings. It does look like there is going to be a Windows Insider program for Windows 10X. And um, this is our, I guess that's already in the, uh, the dev channel. But we could also take a look and see that we are on, I believe it's 202.79. Well, settings seems to have frozen up. I... I couldn't get the about screen to load. I closed it and opened it again. It did that fun thing that Windows does when it just can't figure out how to run something. That's the interesting thing about Windows 10X is that it's supposed to be this modern take on Windows, but a lot of those weird pain points in Windows are not fixed. Like how I'm sitting here staring at the splash screen for settings right now. Like that's the type of thing that doesn't happen so much in Chrome OS, you know. Um, another thing that's supposed to be modern about it is that it's supposed to be able to install updates in a seamless way, like Chrome OS does, you know. Um, you could see, by the way, the icons are centered here. Um, that's, um, it's it's the cent. oh, now we got settings. But then we have a, a task view here that'll show us everything that we want. Let's see if we can get to that about screen now. Nope. 
not happening. This is a near RTM build again, um, but you know there's there's not much to show in the apps department here because all these apps they're pretty much the same as what you're going to find on Windows 10, right? The Microsoft Store this is going to look identical to full screen Microsoft Store because it's a UWP app. These are running the same apps. There's just no Win32. Although we can see the the file explorer is different. That's pretty cool, and and it's the new UWP file explorer, and it looks quite nice. We also have a new action center. If we go over here, you can see that is all new. We could get to power over here, um, lock your screen, on-screen keyboard, so you could see that. Um, by the way. Most operating systems don't need a shortcut for the on-screen keyboard. You know, it's because Windows is so bad at actually being able to tell when you need that keyboard that it needs a shortcut on the screen to so you can launch it yourself. Like, if you're using an iPad, you tap a text box and the on-screen keyboard launches. You don't. Ha there's no icon just for the keyboard to, to appear. Um, what's compose? Oh, compose mode. Okay, so that's portrait mode, and, and I guess, you know, again, well, I guess that um, orientation lock settings are on any any device, so that's fair. Um, wire display, VPN, you know, sound, and that, that's just your new action center. You should see notifications up there as well if we get into anything that has notifications. Now, if we can search on here, and you'll notice there is no notepad, and... We're going to search for Notepad. <laughs> but that was something, remember, in the um, when they originally did the the previews of, of Windows 10X on dual screens, they absolutely did have Notepad because Win32 was going to be a thing. They were going to run in containers. It was going to be a modernized way to run Win32 apps. So that's not here. And, of course, we don't have tiles on the, tar on the start screen, which is nice. You know, it's just kind of floating icons, which transparent icons too. They look, I, I think they look really nice compared to um, regular Windows 10, uh, weather's downloading updates. But yeah, so the, the apps that you want to download, you should be able to get them from the Microsoft Store. And you can get games, but you know, um, I don't know if this is going to run on the type of hardware that you're going to, that you'll want to. Um, run games on. Let's try it bad again. Oh, it's not even going to give me the option. But now if we go to this, we can see that those are our apps. Um, because this is going to run on like tablets, educational PCs, you know, that type of thing. It's, it's not even going to be really... I mean, sure, there's going to be xCloud, so that's something that you could play games on. But you got to think with the limitations that this has, right? Only full screen apps, no Win32, um, no command line, no, like all that legacy stuff that people use Windows for. It's not here, you know, and Microsoft has tried to get rid of legacy components before. They've tried to lock down Windows before. We had Windows RT, we had S mode. Um, it's never worked because people want those Win32 apps. Um, but I mean, it works for other companies that try to do it. So now this is just the the new, it's the, it's, the, it's the next attempt right now. Because really the stuff that was promised for Windows 10X in the beginning, it's not exactly showing up here. So um, that's all we got because there, like I said, there's really not much here. There's the action center. Like not much has changed since the dual screen emulator where it's, it's really just the dual screen emulator, but on a single screen, you know? So, um, by the way, you can, of course, change your, uh, to dark mode. Like, all this stuff is still here, but the, all that stuff is also just in Windows, right? You could change your background, okay? You could browse and you could, you could pick, it's, it's, it's all there. You could go to OneDrive. Let's, uh, let's, let me pull up my old, uh, yeah, so this was actually going to be my background for Windows 10X when it was for dual screens because that's an awesome dual screen wallpaper, but we can just leave that there as it is. But you yeah, see, it looks nice in dark mode, um, as, as everything does, but 
there's just like I said, not much else there because all the apps are pretty much just the same as you would expect because they all get pulled down from the Microsoft Store. These are app, these are the same apps that you'll find on Windows 10. So anyway, you could find this build online. If you've got Hyper-V, you can install it and you could play around with it. There's just not a lot there. You can like I would love to just live in this for a little while, use it as my main PC, but I mean with only full screen apps, like, what is this Windows 8 all over again? Like come on. I I can't actually live in that for a while. So um you can play around with it if you want. Um but yeah, that's all there is, and there's going to be devices like this, probably for like the educational market in the spring. Don't expect too much out of it in the beginning, just because, you know, like I said, it's very limited right now. So, you know, stay tuned and see, and see what they have. And and if Microsoft brings us to a broader audience, wait until they have more to show, like Win32 apps and windowed apps, you know. So that's it, guys. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.